hey guys now we are moving on to our topic number 18th and i'm going to talk about a panel which is mostly ignored we have used variable panel we have used uh, arguments panel but imports panel is something people might be aware and may not be aware many may not be even aware of imports panel or even though they have seen it they may may not have even used it right so what is this imports panel and what kind of questions can come around imports panel let's see that okay uh, imports panel so what do you find that it is beside the variable arguments and then imports right so what is this imports panel is all about so let's say if you are writing an expression let's say data table if i ask you uh, how do you initialize a data table so what do you say you will write new data table or you can also write new system dot data dot data table right that's how you initialize a data table so from where this has come system dot data dot data table if you see for everything there is actually a namespace available for example let's look for system dot data do you see are you able to see that system dot data so because of this namespace available i am able to write that expression just delete this and try to write it it will throw error it will not be able to that expression won't be relevant if you don't have that namespace okay same way uh, but by default there are multiple such namespaces by default available let's say uh, activities uh, visual basic codes that you have to write in the invoke code um, right excel activities for everything there are namespaces already available so it is easy to write an expression around that now why i really need it so you need it of course you need it so what is that there will be areas for example let me give you one simple example let's say i have to deal with json uh, files right so for that if you see there is no newton soft um, uh, namespace okay so if that namespace is not there if i have to deal with json file javascript object notation files so simply i have to do simply type newton soft and then you would find this new newton soft json simply click on it by clicking on it what would happen it will get added so you can see it got added into the namespace that's that simple it is so that's why i say many people do not even come here because most of the time they might not have to deal with json or any other space outside of what is already available so generally this defines your scope what you can do and what you cannot do right so let's look at the documentation and then we'll jump onto the question so what is the documentation uh, documentation says i'm going to share this link or you can simply type uh, imp, uh, imports panel ui path you will anyways get it if not uh, i'm going to anyways share this uh, with you guys okay so yeah so now uh, let's look at this what this says okay clearly read it it is a very small document so let's read it bb.net namespaces in uipath studio represent container store different types of data they enable you to easily define the scope of your expression variables and arguments okay for example if you have the system dot data namespace imported so by default it is there you can further use data table data view data column data row and all that right i just gave you that example right system dot data dot data table all imported namespaces are displayed in the imports panel note that some namespaces are automatically imported and when you browse for dot net type variable or argument the uh, to open this panel click imports in the designer panel so i i told about all this okay the same thing is there but all you have to know anytime you have to import any namespace which is not there that is the area you must go okay that's about it now let's answer one of the question here a developer wants to build a custom solution in their project using the invoke code activity so it's he is using a invoke code activity uh what should be the first step to ensure the necessary namespaces are imported for the invoke code right for the invoke code for the necessary namespaces so how do you do it do you do it uh, for the invoke code especially by going to invoke code is there a space to uh, import no there is only one space that is import using imports panel okay so this should be your right answer okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet in our next content bye bye